Hello, I'm Julie Calderon, Director of World Languages at Boston Public Schools. And I'm Julie Fui, and I teach French at the Thomas Edison K-8. Flipgrid is a free tool that allows students to record video responses to discussion-style prompts uploaded by their teacher. It's great for use in a world language classroom because students can practice their speaking skills in a way that's fun, motivating, and really easy to use. It enables teachers to make sure that every student's voice is heard and to provide them with timely and efficient feedback. Who else besides world language students might find this tool useful? Students who could benefit from peer modeling can watch and rewatch models of other students' responses to build confidence and skill. Also, students who are hesitant to perform in front of the entire class can practice oral speaking proficiency at their own pace in a more relaxed and private setting. We see the benefits for world language students, students with special needs, and in art, music, and theater classrooms, but it is widely used by general ed teachers all over the country. Some teachers are teaming up with grid pals overseas so students communicate easily face-to-face -face with same-age native speakers abroad. I'm not there yet, but there's an entire section on the site devoted to setting up international correspondence. We are here today to walk you through the basics. Create an educator account at flipgrid.com. Use the Google option and log in with your BPS email. You will be prompted to enter some information about what you teach, the age of your students, etc. Once your account is created, there is a ton of useful information in the Help Center found by clicking your name on the upper right hand corner. Under Getting Started Educators, You'll find a useful guide to Flipgrid do's and don'ts. Check them out carefully before creating your first grid. To start one, click on the blue plus sign labeled New Grid. Choose your domain type. I use the BPS school email accounts. Name your grid. I teach 21 different groups of students, so I name them according to their classroom teacher and sometimes create a grid for a special topic, the name of a song on which I'm collaborating with the music teacher, for example. A unique flip code will be generated for you. You can edit it to create something easy for your students to understand. Next, you will be prompted to add school email domains. Use both at bostonk12.org and at bostonpublicschools.org. Both domain names are necessary in order for teachers and students to be able to access the grid. Parents will need to log on with their child using the at bostonk12.org email address. The screen will read, your grid is ready. It is sort of ready. Flipgrid includes a generic universal introduction topic to simplify students' first attempt at the site. Check it out by clicking view as student you may want to use it. World language teachers will probably choose to delete it in order to record your own intro video in the target language. You will be able to customize your grid from this screen, selecting features like whether or not you will receive email notifications when students upload a video. You can choose from the Flipgrid library of images for your grid cover or upload your own. By the way, there is a cool tool here for language teachers. You can choose to display auto-generated captions in the language of your choice. You can see the potential for teachers working with more advanced language students. Click on the name of the grid you just created. The icon with the pencil on the right-hand side of the introductions topic will allow you to edit it and replace the generic introduction video. Click on it and follow the instructions on the screen. Scroll down to section four of seven. Here is where you can delete the generic introduction video if you wish and replace it with a video of yourself speaking directly to your students. Hit delete resource. There'll be a pop-up box and then click OK to confirm. Now you can record your own video. Very user friendly. The best way to learn is to try it out.
Bonjour. 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 For students who are hesitant about sharing their voice, turn on video moderation under Topic Privacy to build students' confidence. This way, nothing can be shared until you as the teacher release it. This also prevents anyone from recording and sharing anything inappropriate. In Section 6, Selfie Stickers, you will have to play around with these options to see what works for you and your management style. At the end of each video that a student records, he or she takes a selfie and can decorate it with stickers and drawings. This is a very popular and motivating option, but it can easily become the focus of the activity. You'll figure a way to manage this as you go. This will get you started. Don't forget the help section to answer any of your questions. The Flipgrid staff is very quick to respond to emails. This is a great tool for BPS world language students and other content areas as well. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more technology tips.